with an FC TV with Chris Agata ahead of this weekend's double header against Hampton and Richmond and Boreham Wood on Monday night. Aggie, how are you looking ahead of these two? Another double header. Yeah, two games in three days here, and that should be good. Uh, opportunity to try and get last weekend out of our uh, system if that's possible, um, or last Monday out of our system, but uh, yeah, just look forward to it. Um, prepare accordingly and and uh, yeah, as I said, uh, another two tough games on the road, um, but you know, more opportunities to put points on the board. Looking back at Bank Holiday Monday, I'm sure you probably don't want to, but what learnings have you taken from, from that afternoon and yeah, what, what can we expect? Yeah, it was just a mental um, 20 minutes in in amongst some good bits, really. Um, you, know, oh, you can't you can't fold like we did, um, so it's disappointing and you know worryingly. I've had a lot of messages saying, "Don't worry, that's happened a lot of times." Um, I've got, um, so I think I've got a message saying that the same happened against Braintree last year, four 0 against Braintree, but. I don't want to get used to that and the players, uh, they're certainly not going to be allowed to get used to that so um, I think there's ways to lose games of football um, and uh, it certainly wasn't um, in that manner, that's not the right way to lose games but like I said at the time, um, myself and the staff we need to do a better job of supporting the players because I felt the way we set the team up second half didn't help at all. Um, so yeah, like I said, after the uh, after the game, you know, we take the hit for that, take responsibility. I can't criticise the players too much. As I said, the the, the goals in quick succession um, that's not a very good trait, and I don't like that at all. But equally, um, I can't criticise the players too much because it's it's been it's been a tough start. I mean the 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 four games on the road and five six games on the road it is difficult and uh, you know they've been tough games but uh, as I said we'll we'll learn from it and we'll move forwards and um, that, that won't happen again. By Monday this away run will finally be over and you'll have a home game to look forward to. Mm. Just how important is it for you to sort of pick the side up and, and get something out of this this weekend from that? Um, yeah, we're not too downbeat really. I mean it's. We're four games in, we have four tough away games, we've got uh, five points on the board. I think in any normal run of fixtures where you have home game sandwich in between, where you win, I think you think that's probably a, a decent start. So um, you certainly won't see me overreacting um, at all um, because, like I said, it's August, it's very early days, we've got uh, a lot of games to go and you know, there's some there's some very good stuff that we've seen, um, and there's been some real highlight moments already this season. Um, so, um, you know, we, it's, it's par for the course, and we'll learn from it and move forwards, and uh, hopefully put the away games to bed. In, in, you know, with these last couple um, for the time being, and start breaking up a few games with home games. So, look forward to that. Looking at Hampton as opponents, what is it that you can sort of expect from them on Saturday? Uh, they've recruited well in the summer. They've, uh, they've, I think they've gone in a bit of a different direction. They've gone with a few younger lads that play sort of step three, step four, um, climbing the pyramid, hungry to, um, hungry to, as I said, climb up the the football pyramid. And I think they're a really dangerous opponent. Uh, as I said, I know a lot of their players have been seen them um, during my time at Hastings. So. Uh, yeah, no, that, that'll be a handful, um, and uh, you know I think uh, you see them beating Salisbury. I mean Salisbury are probably the best team I've seen so far this year. So for them to have beaten Salisbury, you realise it's going to be a tough test. And the same question for Boreham Wood, with them as opponents, I look forward to that game because um, obviously against Truro and uh, Hemel, there's been a bit of uh, mid to low blocks and sitting in and. Um, been a bit attritional at times in terms of what the opposition have done, which um, there's obviously nothing wrong with that, but um, it presents its own sort of challenges. Whereas I'm looking forward to Bourne Wood because knowing their manager, knowing uh, the way they go about um, their way of playing, I'm pretty sure they'll they'll have a right go at it, and uh, and we'll do what we do, is which is have a right go at it. So I think that'd be a, a decent game for the neutral, and uh, I'm really looking forward to that. And just to touch on the squad as you head into the weekend, um, is there anyone that might be missing this weekend? 
Uh, yeah, so obviously Tyrese, uh, Tyrese Owens has left us, um, and you know, I've done a few of these pre-seasons now, and, and you recruit, and and there's always at least one or two that um, maybe aren't the right fit. Um, it's not to say that um, that we're right with that, but ultimately oh, you got to make decisions, and um, we've got to prioritise certain other positions like. Uh, adding to the forward line and um, getting a little bit more threat in forward areas and part of that is balancing off the squad and when you have uh, players that you feel that aren't part of your plans you, know, you need to make those decisions um, you know, as I said it's not to say that we're right but we've got to make those decisions and you know, Tyrese we just felt that uh, in amongst uh, a very strong group of midfield players that we've got at the squad he was probably the one that was less likely to play um, but um, you know, he had an all right pre-season and you know, played a couple of uh, couple of pre-season friendlies. But we just felt that the level of the other players that were playing his position it just meant that uh, we couldn't see him playing. So, um, but again, it's not to say that we were right. But you got to make those decisions. But he will no doubt be a success elsewhere, and perhaps might not be the best fit for us. But that doesn't mean he's not a good fit for somebody else, which I'm sure he will be. And looking at the rest of the squad, is there anyone else that might be doubtful? Um, and there were some that missed out on Monday, yeah, and we missed him, didn't we? Uh, we did miss him. Um, so that, no, that's one of the positives to come out on Monday. The fact that he was given a rest has, has meant he's fully, fully recovered and is back to 100. percent uh, Anyone that's in pre-season and the early games will know that Beard is a key part of what we're doing. So uh, he'll be a much welcome uh, addition back to the side. And that is um, in terms of the squad, we've got a fully fit group other than Tutty. Um, very competitive um, in terms of uh, competition for places, uh, but again, that one of the things that you do find that comes off the back of um, the sort of loss at Truro, it's a bit of a blank canvas, and reputations tend to go out the window a little bit. So, um, you know, it's, it's give us an opportunity to maybe reset one or two things as well, and. Uh, you know, and that, I think that'll be reflected in in the team selection for Hampton. Thanks, Aggie. All the best. Thank you.